I wanted to do a tier list over the hush room for a minute now, and I finally decided, yeah, I'm gonna do it. And I wanted to do a tier list over the hush room. Not then this one, this this tier list isn't like like how I like the character. It's, just, it's clearly based off of strength. Because after season two of Demon Slayer ended, I I don't know why this just now hit me, but I was like, Uzui was fighting. Upper Moon number six. He is the weak, so that means Gyotaro or Gyotaro and Doki. I still don't know which one makes the Upper Moon. I think it's just Gyotaro and, and Doki. I don't know. I think it's just Gyotaro, Gyotaro. and uh, he was uh, Uzumi was fighting Upper Moon six, the weakest Upper Moon, and he was kind of getting torched. And then this, and then I, and then I just had this thought like, is Uzumi the the weakest Hashira? Is he? Weak as Hashira, right? Because when I think about it, right, the strongest one, you know, obviously is Gyome, right? So, you know, I'm already gonna put him in S, right? I'm gonna put him in S. And then after Gyome, it will be fucking uh, Sonic. Um, but then ranking the rest of them is where it gets hard, right? Because I have, I, because I think that Rengoku would be. The third strong, but think about Mujiro, and then I think about Gigi, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. so I might just put these three uh, Rengoku, Mujiro, and uh, Gigi in A, but rank them all in A. With, I think Rengoku being the strongest, and then Mujiro, and then no, I think I might just put Gigi with B because he he did indeed he. He did fight Akaza, but he fought Akaza with time, right? So, he wouldn't be as strong. Okay, I feel like that's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, manga, I, I, manga spoilers. I'm going to put a tag. There, there, there's there's going to be a tag, like, way before the video even started. Or before I started talking about the video where it says spoiler the tag. So, uh, but Muichiro, right, strong as fuck in the, uh, in the manga. I forget which upper moon he fights, but I'm not I'm not even worried about that. I'm worried about how he did against uh Kokushibo, upper moon one. The man, he was he was so cool. Um but he he, he died, yeah, he's dead, rest in peace. But he he kinda he was kinda snapping. So was Sonami and so was Gyotaru. I'm mean, not Gyotaru. Gyome, right? And Yu fought Akaza. I don't remember. It's I'm I'm gonna put up these manga panels. I'm pretty sure Gi was in the fight when they were all fighting, but they, I think that he was in the fight when they was all fighting Muzan. So there's that. Um, uh, East five is the easy part. Ranking the other four is, is where it gets a little difficult for me, right? Because I'm thinking, right? Because because I was, I was contemplating, thinking in my brain, right? That Shinobu, she fought um, Upper Moon too, but she she kind of got cooked. So is she just is is she up here? But I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. She might just be up there with Giyu, right? She might be up there with Giyu or even a little stronger. I don't know. But that's, that's just what I what came to mind. And then Mitsuri, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, let me look it up. Let me look up who, uh, who exactly Mitsuri fought. She fought Upper Moon 4. She fought Upper Moon number 4. And I, if I'm remembering correctly, that's that nigga that got the... I think that he has the coolest design of the Upper Moon. I don't know why fucking, he was wasted there. But he, he had a real cool design. Yeah, that's the Upper Moon she fought. Mm-hmm. Now I remember. She fought Upper Moon 4 and killed him. Now, uh... Fuck. Does does Mitsuri also go here? Hmm. It's hard because I don't think like the more that I thought is is um is because I, I don't know. This just feels this seems right to me. Putting Shinobu right there. I don't know how to fuck to rank Iguro, man. I I have no idea how to rank him. I might just throw him up there with um with uh, Mitsuri because he really the only the only 
things we got to see him do was fight Upper Moon one, I, I think, and uh, moves on. And he, I think he got off screen. Really, you really didn't get to see much of him. And I wanted to see some of him, but you know, we, we just fucking didn't. I don't know how to rank him. I don't know how to rank him. I might. I, I'm just throwing him up there with Shinobu and Call of the Day. But who's we? Who's like like I? This whole list. Just came together in my mind because of this man right here. Is Uzui the weakest posture because he was struggling with upper moon six? If Tondra wasn't there, my man's would have died. And if I think about it, right, if I put Rengoku in that same situation, because I don't know, uh, Uzui was uh, like looking up to Rengoku or something like that. But if I put Rengoku in the same in that exact situation, is the same shit happen? Is is like. Like is is Rengoku is Rengoku almost dying? Are they still are they are they barely are they barely securing the W? What's happening, right? But I think that if Rengoku was there, Daki, well, he the only reason I feel like da, Daki and Yotaro are the hard to kill because you gotta kill him at the same time. But I feel like he can line that shit up. Rengoku probably could do that. I feel like everyone like Everyone from B tier up can do, can like beat upper room six with low to mid difficulty, right? But Uzui was struggling with Yotaro. Like I said, if Tanya wrote Nosuke and Zenitsu were not there, um, Uzi would have died. Uzi would have died, right? Um, so I don't know. I feel like it's fair to put him here, but he, like, it just doesn't seem right. He might be the fastest killer. Or something like that, but I, I just don't think that he is strong because he was struggling with room six. Well, everyone else just didn't like like they fought stronger upper rooms. Missouri killed upper room four, two two ranks above upper room uh, six. So uh, you know, for Goku was relative to Akaza upper room three, you know. And then fucking Giyu and Tanjiro killed Akaza, you know. Um, so I guess I guess this is fine. This is kind of how I imagined it would go. Ah man, it's just it, it, it's weird putting Uzi like that. It's, it's weird for me to think Uzi is the weakest Hashira. But I don't know, man. Maybe Igaru is the weakest Hashira, and he. I don't know, because, man, we just didn't get to see enough of Igaru, man. I can only go off of barely what the fuck he did. So, I, I guess I guess I can end the video here. This was a short little filler video, because I, I, needed, I, I needed shit to record, man. And, uh, yeah, I guess I can end it here, man. If you like, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye.